This is directed by Asif Kapadia and stars Ertan Sana, Alan Prost, and Frank Williams. Sana is basically a 2010 biographical documentary about a Brazilian Formula One racing driver, Ayrton Senna, who, is very, who was very famous and still is today, won the F1 World Championship three times before his death at the age of 34. In general, I don't care too much for documentaries, and I don't watch a lot of them, mainly because there, for the most part, aren't that many documentaries, and when it comes to documentaries, I find that there aren't a lot of a lot of them with very interesting stories. Um, the last one that I saw was Inside Job, which was very well done. I didn't really have any intention of seeing this, but because of the fact that there really wasn't anything else out this weekend that interested me, Shark Night Apollo 18, I'm not going to see those. So I thought to myself, well, there must be something out there that's, you know, interesting enough. And so uh, this one was playing at a theater uh, relatively near me, so I went and saw it. And uh, I have to say it was a good movie. I was surprised. Um, for a documentary, I was interested in it. Like when I was watching it, I was engaged. It had a very interesting story, and they showed you the journey of this of this man and how he started out being very amateur and go kart racing, then went very pro in his family and everything. Uh, how they were affected by it. Uh, they had a lot of good stock footage in this movie. There was a, obviously a lot of stock footage, and there were n there weren't a lot of actual interviews. Like, what I mean is, like, filmed interviews, like, they had a lot of press interviews, but they didn't actually show any of the family members being interviewed. They just had the voiceovers of the family members being interviewed. They had a lot of voiceover uh, interviews, but in general, a lot of the footage was um, the actual uh, racing of the cars, and that was very interesting. I didn't have a lot of problems with the movie, um, but as it kept going on after the first hour, it kind of started to drag, and I was a little bit less interested in it, the very climax of the film, where uh, where they kind of build up to his death, and then they show his death, and they show kind of the aftermath, the effect. Even though it was a very sad moment, it didn't really have the emotional effect that I thought it would have, and I wasn't really emotionally there. But overall, this is a, a very good film. I would give this film three and a half out of five stars, and uh, if it isn't in a theater near you, then wait for it to come out on DVD and rent it. It's very much worth seeing.